people never cease to amaze me. What in the world was this perv thinking? Oh, well, based off of his actions, we know what he was thinking. What is going on everybody? I am Ty Smith. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. I really do appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to view my content. And in viewing my content, you must hit this like button right here because it will continuously have my content recommended to you, the American people. And make sure that you follow me on all the platforms that you see listed down here and up here as well, all right? Appreciate it. Also, the products that you may or may not see in this video are products that I use from this microphone to the keyboard, to the mouse, to that camera you see me looking at right now, all right? You see me looking at it? You looking at me? I'm looking at you? We having a good looking time? Yeah? Anyway, thanks for doing all those things I just mentioned there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God, y'all. This right here is one for the books. Like, you heard of peeping toms and everything like that, right? But this dude take this to a new level. I mean, absolutely sickening new level like some perv type stuff y'all you 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 have to see this you have to see this and he's young 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 man target peeping tom thomas elliott yeah we saying your name buddy who slid his phone under a woman's skirt is pictured with his girlfriend as a victim describes her shopping aisle ordeal yes this dude is caught sliding a phone under this girl who is crouching down and it gets even more weird when you hear the whole story out y'all this watch watch look yeah there he is there's the creep yeah buddy you were creeping it gets even worse when you see other things that he's involved in a north north i mean god north carolina y'all just been like on the map to every video i did today north carolina has been you guys what the heck is wrong Boy getting accused of being racist because he used the word illegal alien, right? Dumb, wannabe, thugged out dude in North Carolina slapping a teacher around. Got some good news about at least University of North Carolina getting rid of the stupid discriminatory DEI program. And now we got this, I didn't even, this man. Now we got a North Carolina peeping Tom. I swear y'all these things are being picked by random. What are the odds? I should go to the casino this weekend since I'm hitting all these crazy odds with North Carolina crazy a north carolina man accused of taking an upskirt video of a target customer has been pictured with his girlfriend as victim breaks her silence thomas ryan elliott 21 years old was arrested at a store in greenville on monday after being caught crouching near a woman wearing a skirt the voluntary elementary school worker was seen on camera placing his cell phone on the floor to take a video up black outfit up this girl's black outfit in the interview with witn the unidentified victim recalled the disturbing moment she realized she was being recorded yeah y'all see him right there y'all look seems like a nice guy look at this north carolina man look at that look at that that is crazy they got around the picture but you can see it on the internet with other ones y'all look at this there he is right there 21 years old i think this is the victim right here and I'll see if we might be able to, we might be able to play this. Let's see. No, nah, that's just a picture. No matter, she says, no matter how much you try to think you're doing, you're going to be prepared for it. It kind of throws you. A, it kind of it kind of throws you a throw a loop. Wait a minute, look, I'm reading this right. It kind of throws you throw a loop when it actually happens. She says. Okay, she's saying it actually throws you through a loop when it actually happens, she said. She recalled the moment she realized the suspect appeared to be suspiciously lingering near her. I decided to get up and scoot over, and then at this point, I was not focusing on what I was trying to buy anymore, the woman said. I was more distracted by him still lingering in the area. Once she moved, the suspect crouched behind her and placed his phone under her skirt, according to the victim. Another person shopping at the Target began filming him, after she started to believe he was following the woman around the store. Elliot is seen on camera continuing to put his phone on the floor to film the female customer. The woman filming Elliot eventually posted the video to social media, which ended with Elliot being arrested. When cops detained Elliot, 
he denied any wrongdoing and showed us, the police, the recent pictures he had on his cell phone because you don't know how to delete them. Who would think that you would not... Forgive me, y'all. Mentee's calling. I'll call you back. When cops detained Ellie, he denied any wrongdoing and showed us, the police, the recent pictures he had on his cell phone. He said... <laughs> He said there's no pictures on there, but this is what gets even better. Look at this. Look at that. Bruh, look at this. What the heck? Let me do something here real quick. Look at this. Let me do something real quick, y'all, because this little creepy kid right here, like he's starving for something. Oh, yeah, let me get rid of Sorry. <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> I didn't even notice it was really there. But look at this. Look what you done. Got a girlfriend here, and this is where it gets even crazier. I think you need to go back in that water, sir. You need to get, you got to go repent or get rebaptized. Elliot was also a parishioner at Open Door Church and appears to have been recently baptized. Well, sir, apparently your sins have returned to you. You need to go rewash those sins away. Look at this. The woman filming Elliot eventually posted the video to social media, which ended with Elliot being arrested. Look at this absolutely crazy authorities arrested the man charged him and obtained a search warrant for his cell phone to try to find any inappropriate photos of children they oh shoot want to know why because he works at elementary school they are looking for deleted information that may be recovered via a forensics examination according to witn boy 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 elliot you better hope you don't have anything like that in your phone because if you do, it's, I mean, it's already a wrap for you already because the whole town of Greenville, North Carolina already got you on a map. Anywhere you go, any, I mean, anywhere you go, people going to be on the lookout for you. You just ruined, you might as well get ready to move to a different city. Police are looking for deleted information that may be recovered via forensic examination. Police say they have yet to discover anything inappropriate involving children on the phone. Elliot was released after posting a $5,000 bond and had his first court appearance on Tuesday, Greenville police told Daily Mail. The man volunteers at Eastern Elementary School in Greenville, but a spokesperson for the county school says they will likely not be having him back. Go figure. Look at all these different posts right here. I think these are posts from him. Look at that. His power at work in us can do far more than we dare ask or imagine. Or in other words, he is God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above anything we can ask or think. I will praise the Lord at all times. I will consistently speak his praise. Were you speaking to me? Were you trying to praise that girl cuckoo? Huh? Were you trying to when you were you trying to praise the Lord? Were you trying to look up that skirt? We are disturbed and deeply concerned by video footage of the individual that has been shared on social media and news outlets. And based on the footage, the individual will not be returning to our campuses as a volunteer or hired as an employee, said Tom McClellan, Pitts County School spokesman. McClellan added that volunteers and visitors are run through a screening program that finds out if they are in or any list of sex offenders before hiring, which he wasn't. Definitely going to be now. Elliot was also a parishioner at Open Door Church and appears to have been recently baptized. The church said in a statement, safety and security are the utmost importance to us. We are taking the situation extremely seriously. He is no longer permitted on our properties. Now, hold on now. Wait, wait. Y'all got to go with me here. It says, we continue to see God's wisdom in the aftermath of this situation. We pray for God's healing and redemption for all those affected. Now, now, now. This might be an issue here now, and I'm just being real with y'all. This, to me, in my opinion, don't get me wrong, jail time, whatever this boy is getting ready to get handed to him, by law, I'm 100% with that. If anything, he needs to be before godly men to address this issue that he has going on. Because that is absolutely 100% supposed to be the message of what the church is supposed to be. When I say church, I'm not talking about a church building, folks. I'm talking about God's people, ecclesia, the church, the assembly. When something like this happened, we, the people of God, yes, we do not condone what this boy did whatsoever. But at the same time, what we are supposed to do is step in and attack the situation of what's plaguing this boy to do what he's doing. Now, again, 
whatever happens to him by law, whether he does jail time, probation, whatever the case may be, yes, bring it. Bring it. But it is the church's job to take broken individuals. Because pretty much when it comes down to it, if you've been about the church life, you know, most of us that came to church came in there, messed up individuals. And what we came there for is to hear the word of God, to have to feel the, the power of God's Holy Spirit, to allow the Holy Spirit to enter in us, to lead us and guide us to all righteousness and truth. Right. Church is for people to go there who are broken. In this particular case, booting him out is absolutely doing the opposite of what the message of Christ is supposed to be about now. I don't know if they did this because this dude already had issues. I do not know that, folks. If he already had issues that he was dealing with when it came to things like this and sexuality and he'd been in trouble for this before and now he just happened to get busted on it, I get it. We worked with you. We done all we can. Now you got caught doing this openly. You got to get a make from our congregation because we got to protect other folks here. I get that. I get it. But you have to understand this at the same time. It's supposed to be about breaking the thing that's plaguing this guy, which if I knew him, if he was a part of our church, man, you got to do some talking, bro. I don't have to sit there and damn you on how wrong it was, what you just got done doing, da, 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 da. You getting ready to feel the wrath and whatever comes with those consequences, you're going to have to deal with them where the people don't like you. Then you're going to be, you're getting ready to be called all sorts of things by the world, which you rightfully deserve because you did this publicly and openly and knowingly what you were doing was wrong. And thank God you just happened to get busted. What that woman with the camera did was supposed to be exactly what we're supposed to act like all the time as if God is watching us always. So I hope you take a lesson from this. I don't know if your girlfriend's going to remain with you. It's going to be really hard for her to stay with you because that comes off as being creepy. I don't know if she will remain with you, but I will hope that you will really find God for real this time, not this baptism and all. No, nothing wrong with baptism. I'm saying not this baptism. Oh, glory in front of people. I'm such a. You really need to find God in this time and have God help you with this spirit that's doing this to you, that you are allowing this spirit to do to you, to have you go and do things like this. That is disgusting. I don't have to sit there and damn you over, but I do know this. I hope you turn to God and get a real relationship with God so you can turn away from whatever these things are that consistently plague you. They give you those urges to do those things because pretty soon those things will lead to other sorts of crazy, disgusting sexual things. That's my take on that, ladies and gentlemen. What are your thoughts on that? And again, y'all can disagree with me. It's arguable, but it's supposed to be the church's job to take broken individuals and build them up, not cast them away. There was a time in the Bible, and I'm just letting y'all know this. There was a woman who was caught in adultery, got thrown in front of Jesus. Y'all know the story. They was getting ready to stone her. And Jesus said, you that is without sin, cast the first stone and here's the important part the important part is not the fact that nobody didn't throw any rocks and they walked away they felt convicted because they knew that they had sin that wasn't the biggest part that's a, that's a good part of it yes the people who were getting ready to stone that woman after jesus made that statement and said you that it was without sin cast the first stone they felt convicted dropped the stones they didn't do it the important part is what happened when she was alone with jesus he asked her where are those that condemn you where are your accusers she said that I don't have none. He said, well, guess what? I don't condemn you either. But then he said something important. He told her to go and don't do it again. In other words, repent from, turn away. Turn away from what you did. Turn away from the sin that you're in. Don't do it again. Same thing I'm saying to this guy right here. But at the same time, we don't know the rest of the story with that woman that was caught in the dark. We don't know how the village looked at her. Nobody accepted her in their house. We don't know what happened. That's, we don't know. Don't know the details. And in this case, I'm just telling you, I don't know the details of what's going to come after this guy, whether he goes to jail and gets released. I don't know, but I do know this. I can guarantee you people are going to be very untrustworthy of you and not going to want you around probably their kids or anything. You got a family you have to face. You might have nieces and nephews or female cousins. They might be freaked out by this stuff now. Don't know if you ever. I'm just telling y'all. It's a lot of stuff you're going to have to deal with, sir. So to me, you have no choice but to turn yourself to God because at, at this point, God may be the only person right now willing to forgive you for this. Everybody else, you got to give them time on that, sir. That's my take on that, ladies and gentlemen. What does y'all take on that? Do y'all agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Do you have a different perspective than I do? Do you not? Whatever the case may be, if you are going to come from a Christian standpoint and a perspective, come with biblical. 
Come biblically. Don't come with it. Now, again, I, let me let me clarify this. If you're coming at me, if you disagree or agree and you're coming from a Christian standpoint, biblically speaking, come with that. Let's hear it. If you guys are coming just from your own personal moral background and different perspective. Yeah, let's hear it. I want to hear what everybody thoughts is on this. Some folks might be like, I would do it. I, I get it. I'm like, man, if that was my girl that he was doing that to. Woo, I get it. I get it, folks. Let's hear it. Don't forget to hit this like button right here, folks, so that this video can be circulated within a YouTube algorithm. I do look forward to hearing what y'all have to say on this. Watch the whole video before y'all jump in it, okay? I know y'all are like, that's the, I, I get it. I get it. But coming from a church aspect, this is definitely going to be really interesting. I am Ty Smith, Model Renaissance Man, and I hope and pray every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.